Hey everyone, Keith O'Brien here from down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the two biggest, the two biggest mistakes that people, I'm going to include myself in there as well, people make in business, whether it's network marketing, traditional business, uh, actually in anything that you're looking to be successful at in life, these are by far the two biggest mistakes that people make. Now, I got, I got to share with something. This is the coolest thing. So I'm going to take this off for a second. Look at what I got going on here. So I just bought this little uh, uh, tripod stand for my iPhone. It's awesome, right? So I've been like leaning my phone up against stuff because I committed uh, just recently to not editing any videos, right? And so unless I bust it out on the first take, it's not gonna not going up, right? And so... Because, you know, my focus this year is authenticity. It has been for a long time, uh, uh, as I've paid many prices in life for, for being inauthentic uh, and, you know, and, and not really diving in full bore. But so what I started to do, I started looking at everything that I was up to in the world and just seeing if I can uh, get, peel away the layers, so to speak, to what's really necessary, right? Uh, because simplicity and authenticity is what I'm after, right? So, uh, so not editing videos makes my life much, much easier, right? Because I don't know if you've ever done a video before, the amount of time it takes to process and upload, ridiculous. I shoot from my iPhone, upload it right to YouTube in like five minutes, and it's done. And I can go on and get on with getting on, right? Okay, so the two... Biggest mistakes, right? And these things are very, very uh, closely connected. See how they're connected? Here's the church. Remember this? Here's the church. Here's the steeple. Open the door and see all the people. Okay, anyway, I'm in a mood. So, the two biggest mistakes, very closely related, all right? The first mistake is that people don't get into action quickly enough, right, and quickly enough, or for a long enough period of time. And I'm going to talk, that second one kind of parlays in this, into the, that, the second part of that kind of parlays into the second point, but they're a little bit distinctive, so I'm going to dive into that here. Um, so the first is this, and I'm guilty of this, right? So, you know, I've had a lot of success in traditional network marketing, uh, you know, where uh, I was on the phone, and uh, calling people up and calling leads and, and whether I was marketing for leads or whether I was calling people I knew in my warm market, traditional network marketing I've done it fairly well in, right? I mean, you know, I mean, better than most, not as good as some, but you know, I mean, I've done fairly well. It's funded most of my life, right? So, um, so I kind of, I knew that field and to just get on the phone and start dialing instant gratification, I could start understanding and listening to people and then putting them through an information process, following up, and I'd usually have pretty good results. Team build the whole deal, right? So um, this last year, I made a decision I was going to put more of my business online. And I wanted to take that you know, front end piece of marketing and put it more on the internet so that I wasn't constantly in the grind, right? Because um, I love training and coaching and all the things that happen once somebody's in the business, you know, but I don't love, 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 love smiling and dialing for dollars. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's not really what I like to do. So uh, in that, so I decided to learn internet marketing. And with that, I got started and, and started looking at resources. Um, decided very recently uh, to join and build Empower Network because I just it, everything kept pointing back to it in terms of the tools that I want to learn. It just so happens that the commissions are crazy good. The compensation structure is very, very strong. Uh, and so uh, to have that as part of my arsenal is, is, uh, was very attractive. But so what happened was is, is I started looking at all this stuff to do online. And even though I kind of knew what I needed to do, I got stuck got stuck in taking action more consistently, right? I mean, it takes a little more thought, energy, and effort to sit down and write out a compelling email copy uh, than it does to so just pick up the phone and make a phone call to somebody, right? Uh, and because it was a new skill set, I got kind of stuck in paralysis. And this happens to so many people, right? 
that you get started and you want to build a business, especially you want to build a business online. And people just get stuck. Like they go through training and training and training and don't get into action. And guys, you don't have to be, just go do something, all right? Just go do something. Right, and so my new commitment, I'm I'm putting out content consistently, consistently, consistently. And you know, half the time I don't even know what I'm doing, but I know that creating that habit of consistently and pumping out quality content, you know, is going to create results over time. All right, so that's the first is getting into action and taking enough action. Right, the second, okay, the second is. You have to understand the metrics of your business. The 80-20 rule, you know how 20% of, uh, let's see, your team produce 80% of your volume, or 20% of your marketing produces 80% of your results, or 20% of your efforts produce 80% of your income, all right? So this is true everywhere for the most part. Now, the challenge with that in a marketing conversation is that people don't take action long enough in the same direction to produce results, right? So like, let's say the first time you do something, let's say, you know, you start doing video marketing and the first eight times you produce a video, you create a video and put it out there, you don't get any results. Or the first 10 times or 15 times, you get very few views and likes and comments. You're just putting it out there, putting it out there, putting it out there. You don't know what's going to hit. You're going to continue to get better and work on your skills. But you don't know when the numbers are going to line up so that that 80-20 rule plays out. right? So you may do something 10 times and get very little results and then do it 10 more times and get very little results. But somewhere in that next 10, you hit three or four, right, winners. This happens a lot. Let's say someone someone uh, wants to do Facebook advertising, right? And they put out a Facebook ad and, you know, they pay for it and they test and, and they don't get very good results. So they do it again. They don't get very good results. They do it again. And now they're starting to get frustrated because we're so addicted to instant success in our world, right? And they're starting to get frustrated. And you might not have gotten to your winner yet, right? If you look at your whole body of work, let's say you do uh, uh, 50 different Facebook ads. and you, even, just, even if you set a little $5 budget for each one, which is enough to test, you'll start getting, you know, it may be enough to test, but you'll start getting some results, right? And then... But if you do 50, you're going to look at that and you're going to have ah, 8 to 10 really successful ones. Now, you don't know when those 8 to 10 are going to show up. You may hit them all at the beginning and then hit a drought for a while. And you're like, oh, I don't know even know what I did wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. Not every one that you create is going to, be going to be effective. It's not going to produce. It's not going to be a winner. It's not going to be a profitable ad. Now, you may do 10, and this is what happens with most people. They do five or six, and it's not getting the, the amazing results that they thought they're going to get, and they quit. You have no idea, okay, if the next couple would have been winners. You've got to go deep enough into the void to let the numbers play out, and they will, they will, okay? Promise you. So just put the pedal down. Keep learning so you can uh, hone your craft and get better and better and better, but put the pedal down and don't let up, okay? You are not your results. Your Facebook ad results don't determine who you are as a human being. You still have worth if your ad sucks. Right? You still have value if you produce no leads today. All right? You are not your results. So just work on you. Keep the pedal down long enough in the same direction so that you can see the results and create the life that you want. Okay? Now, if you saw this video, no matter where you saw it, it's part one thing that I put on, on, uh, out online in terms of training. So just... Look, I'm not a guru. I know some stuff. I can help you. 
So put your email in if you're seeing it uh, next to an opt-in space. You know, click on a link if you're seeing a link next to the video. Just go take some action so that we can stand next to each other and walk forward with that pedal down long enough so that we can play together when you hit that 20% magic sweet spot. All right? Have a phenomenal day, everybody. Make it happen. Go do something extraordinary today. Bye for now.